Welcome back to another episode of Vicky's Daily Stand Up. So in today's video, we are going to talk about how to pick a perfect laptop for programming, for coding. Um, so there's two things you need to know. First is the processing power, and another thing is the memory. So the higher of the memories, the better. When it comes to memories or RAM, they are super important because they are the space for the computer to keep information. So personally, I use 16 gigabytes of memories. Usually people have like eight gigabytes of memories, but I think anything that's above 16 gigabytes should be enough for programming. So the processor is like the brain of your computer. So you want the brain to work better. Processors comes in cores. The higher numbers of cores means that a stronger processing power that you've got. So if you want a better experience in programming, I I would consider getting either i5 or i7 or even higher numbers of course. Another thing that you can think about is the graphics. So graphic card is what a computer uses to handle games and graphics. Most of the high-end computers or laptops already have a pretty decent graphic card. So I think that in general graphic cards are okay. If you're really consider getting into you know graphic designs and stuff like that or even editing, I would consider getting a better graphic card but it's not terribly important. As far as RAM concerned, RAM is to use to store the directions that tells the computer what to do. So it's really important that you want to have your memories and your RAM to be as much as possible. As programmers, we sit at our desk a lot, so you might consider that to buy a computer that has a bigger screen and also easier to carry around because then you get to go all the time every single day. So for myself, I have a MacBook Pro 13 inches. It has a pretty good screen already. If you want a better comfort, you might want to consider having a bigger monitor or even have an external monitor to help you um, to see better, I guess. So this is just my own opinions. I hope this helps you to kind of like picking the perfect laptop for you. Um, please leave comments down below. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I hope that you enjoy this video. Share this video with someone who are also in the market to look for a laptop. Um, Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy this kind of content, please consider subscribing. Until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.